Well, hello. We are uh, now continuing our study of DNA and learning about something called a chromosome. And so uh, here we have the uh, old double helix. Over here we have something called a chromosome. How shall we define a chromosome? Let's say this. A chromosome is a structure that contains part of a cell's DNA. Let's see. We said in human cells there is uh, how much DNA, what length? about six feet. All right, each chromosome then would have, in human beings, would have part of that six feet. Well, let's uh, see what we got here. We got the DNA being wound around protein bodies, and those protein bodies happen to be called histones, but the DNA winds around these histones like a thread around a spool. And so we see this winding at higher and higher levels of organization until finally we arrive at a structure called a chromosome. And so the action molecule in chromosomes is, of course, DNA. And what is DNA again in terms of life? And it's our hereditary molecule. Yes, it is. Uh, it is, uh, determines uh, everything about us physically, except maybe, uh, like me, if you weigh too much. But anyway, um, let's uh, look at this picture over here. Uh, a little bit below that on the page. Now we're going to ignore this till later. We're going to learn about something called DNA replication later. That's when uh, one DNA molecule becomes two DNA molecules. But that's uh, what's happening over here. We're going to just uh, stay at what's called the chromosomal level for this discussion. We have here an unduplicated chromosome, or a representation, of course, of an unduplicated chromosome. And here the chromosome has been duplicated. And uh, so uh, what's the deal there? Well. Uh, when a chromosome is duplicated, each half is identical. So each half is called a sister chromatid, and these are twin sisters. Uh, this, uh, this chromatid is identical to the one it's attached to. What do we mean identical? Well, uh, we learned about the uh, genetic code, or at least we've started to learn about the genetic code. Uh, and you say, what's that? Well, it's, it's made up of four letters. What are they again? At the golf course, ATGC. And so, what does it mean for this chromatid to be identical to its sister? It means every single A, T, G, and C in this one is at exactly the same place as every A, T, G, C in this one. And so we have two sister chromatids attached to what's called a centromere. So unduplicated chromosomes and uh, duplicated chromosomes uh, which are composed of two identical sister chromatids joined at the centromere. Well, wow, here's some real chromosomes. Uh, these were taken from two different people. We're going to look at them in detail, but let's see what we got here. We've got a total of, in each one, 46 chromosomes. Uh, those are the number of chromosomes in a human body cell. At least I should say the normal number of chromosomes in a human body cell. And so uh, you notice they're arranged in pairs. And so uh, human body cells don't just have 46 chromosomes, uh, kind of random uh, shapes and sizes. They are arranged in pairs. And so if we have 46 chromosomes, that's how many pairs? 23 pairs. Now, and 23 pairs down in this picture as well, uh, taken from a white blood cell of a human being. And so, uh, do these chromosomes line up like little uh, soldiers like this? No, they don't. You have to pay a laboratory uh, some money to get this type of analysis. And what would that laboratory analysis be looking for? Looking for the possibility of chromosomal abnormalities. We'll talk about one here shortly. Let's look at these in a little greater detail. Let's look at the top one first. What we have again is 46 chromosomes and uh, arranged in how many pairs again? 23 pairs. And uh, in just a little bit earlier we talked about duplicated, duplicated, and unduplicated chromosomes, unduplicated and duplicated. The question is, as we look at this picture, are these unduplicated or duplicated chromosomes? And here's where students get a little bit confused. Uh, they may answer uh, one thing when it's the other. What are they? Are these duplicated or unduplicated? Well, it so happens they are unduplicated. Is this one attached to this one? No, it's not. This is a um, this is a 
un an unduplicated chromosome, and here's its partner right here. And here's another partner, two unduplicated chromosomes. Where did these chromosomes come from, by the way? Well, originally they came from the person's father and mother. And so as you look at one of these pairs, one of these pairs, for example, pair number one, and you can kind of see how this system is set up, long pairs toward the beginning, short pairs toward the end. Um, but where did they originally come from? Well, you guessed it. One out of each pair, and you can't tell by looking which one's which. One of them came from the person's mother. Let's say it's this one. And if we knew that, then this one would have come from the person's father. One came originally in the egg cell. One came originally in the sperm cell. So let's contrast that with the other batch right here. Now, are these duplicated or unduplicated? Well, they're a little fuzzy, but this picture should look a lot different than this picture. Oh, yeah, it does. Are these duplicated or unduplicated? They are very definitely duplicated. And he said, I don't see it, Professor. Well, let's see. Some of them can see it better than others. How about this one here? Can you t see the two identical chromatids? Now, what's that pinched in area called? That pinched in area is called the centromere. And so you can see the two, you can see the two, uh, two uh, chromatids joined at the centromere. And so in this picture, there are 46 unduplicated chromosomes. In this picture, there are 46 duplicated chromosomes. Now you can tell by looking uh, whether these chromosomes came from the cell of a human male or a human female because the very last pair are the so-called sex chromosomes. And so uh, uh, pair number 23, the way this is set up, and so this batch of chromosomes came from a cell of a human male. How can we tell? Well, us males are males because we got an X chromosome from our mother and a Y chromosome from our fathers. X and Y. And you say, it don't look like an X and Y. Well, they would if they were duplicated. Let's, let's contrast that with this set. This came from a cell of a human female. And we see uh, you, you ladies in the audience, in the class, uh, you are females because you inherited an X chromosome from your mothers and an X chromosome from your fathers. Of course, you can't tell which one's which, but uh, they look a little more like X's here because they are duplicated. So, human male, X and Y, human female, X and X. And uh, one last thing before we move on, and again one last time, are these duplicated or unduplicated? These are unduplicated, these are duplicated. Unduplicated, 46 unduplicated, 23 pairs, 46 chromosomes, these are 23 pairs, 46 duplicated, unduplicated, duplicated. Now before we move on, let's talk about one very common uh, chromosomal abnormality that uh, can be checked for. It has to do with chromosome 21 here. I'll just use this picture. Uh, there's a common chromosomal, chromosomal abnormality that involves an extra, an extra chromosome 21. And so a person with this abnormality, instead of having two chromosomes of position 21, they, that person would have three. So instead of having 46 chromosomes per body cell, that person would have what? 47. And so, um, what chromosomal, I mean, what uh, uh, challenge is this? This is what is commonly called Down syndrome. Down syndrome results from having an extra chromosome 21. And this person did not, and this person did not have Down syndrome. We see two chromosomes, the normal two chromosomes, at position 21. Now let's look at this picture though from your textbook. Uh, I can ask you several things about this picture. Uh, first of all, are these chromosomes duplicated or unduplicated? Well, you can see it a lot more clearly now. They are obviously all, what, duplicated. And so these two halves of the duplicated chromosome, they're two sister what? Two sister chromatids joined out of what? Centromere. All right. And so, um, did this batch of chromosomes come from the cell of a human male or a human female? Let's check it out. Oh yeah, right down here. And so, uh, human male or human female? Well, there's an X and a Y. 
those are the two sex chromosomes. So this must have been from a human what? Male. Now, did this human male have Down syndrome? Mm, look at position 21. Is that the normal two? Yes, it is. There's not a third. So this person did not have Down syndrome. Here's another picture of DNA, and let's call the uncondensed form. It's unwound. Uh, but here are some uh, chromosomes. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, as it says right here, they're duplicated, but you would need that label to say that. You can see they're duplicated. And so these are two sister what's? Two sister chromatids joined at what? Joined at a centromere. All right. That's it for this video.